Hello, in this video I'll show you how to flash stock ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy A52. Stock ROM means the firmware, your operating system, released by the manufacturer. There are also custom ROMs, which are released by users and they are modified versions of the system. For that, there is a video on it on the channel, although this video is about the stock ROM, about the original software for the phone, so uh, you'll need a computer for it and you will need a cable that supports data transfer because not all cables are built the same, some don't support uh, data transfer, but I believe this one will. So I'm gonna use this one. Mm, and um, let's begin. Uh, this process is quite complex, so make sure that uh, you follow it uh, as exactly as you can. And the first thing before we begin is to know which current version of the firmware we have. And I'll explain why in a moment, but first let's go to the settings. Um, and let's go to the about phone at the bottom. Then modal name is very important, the full one. So in my case, it's A525F, okay? Uh, now uh, let's go to software information and you'll need to find uh, the kernel version and you'll find the modal A525F in my case, but in your case, it may be a little bit different then XXS or XXU, it doesn't matter. But after that S or U, there's gonna be a letter or a number. Uh, so you can see I have XXSC, which means I have the C version of the firmware and I cannot downgrade it. So I cannot get the B version but I could get either C version, I could download C version or D because uh, the versions go like this, one, two, three, four, and so on up to nine, then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So since I have C version, it's like the second digit after double X, uh, this is what's important here. Um, since I have the C version, I cannot get the B version, but I can get C, D or anything else that is newer. Uh, so once we know that, if you aren't able to check it because you currently have a custom ROM that doesn't tell you this information, then later on I'll also show you how to check it. Uh, so you may just skip to the part of the video where the screen on the phone is uh, blue I'll explain it there and then you can go back here so you can you can know. So now I'm gonna go to the computer because we'll need to download everything. Mm, so on the computer, let's go to a browser, like let's say uh, Chrome, it can be whatever browser. And the first thing you should, you should find is um, going to be um, firmware. So you can just type in SMA 525F because this is my model, but if you have a different one, you can uh, like type in your model, right? And then firmware. Uh, now I will go to the samfw.com because I, I often use that website. It doesn't matter which website you just go to. I know that this website just has the fastest server, so I'm not gonna wait too long for the software. And you can see we have the SMA525. Now, mm, <clears throat> there is CSC code, and we should find any of those. Uh, basically, they are uh, made for different countries, and they may have like slight differences. And also, like for a certain country, like for example for Poland, there are two different ones you can see, and they are branded by uh, like a mobile carrier because mobile carriers often like add some wallpapers of their own, they add uh, some uh, like booting screens of their own or some other applications for the uh, mobile carrier. Um, so uh, yeah, I will actually get the European Union version which is EUX because I know this one is going to be 
uh, not branded and just overall for European Union so I can get this one but if you're located anywhere else you should just find a version for your country and if there's multiple one honestly you can select whichever one you'd like but you can also just research which version is going to be not branded if you don't need any branding of like a certain uh, carrier like T-Mobile for example. I will get the EUX as I said because I'm in the European Union and I can get this one. Now we have uh, this co uh, column of versions and you can see there's six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C. Of course if we go further there are some older versions. You can see that for some versions like for example Revision 4 there's lots of different ones and here you can ch select whichever one you'd like of course the uh, you m most likely will select the newest one but if you're trying to downgrade your system then let's say you have the revision 4 from 2023-0101 then if you if you want to downgrade you can only downgrade to revision 4 but for example the 2021-1001 uh, this version will be fully fine, but if you were to downgrade to revision 3, you cannot. Um, the same goes for A, right? If you have version A, the newest version A available, you can downgrade to the older A, but you cannot downgrade to 9. I only have C available, this is the newest available version currently, so I will just download this one because I have no other option currently. If there was D, I could then select whether I want C or D. I will select C now. Um, I will just click on it. And now let's click on either this or this link. Um, it will start downloading. It will take a moment because it has like 8 gigabytes, uh, this version that I'm downloading. Uh, so it's in the process currently. Yeah, I'm going to click on download. Uh, and now it has started downloading. I will actually pause it because I already have it downloaded. Uh, and let's go now to our website because we'll need some files from our website. So I'm on hardreset.info. There's an ad, just go through it pretty quick. Okay, never mind. Let's close it. Let's go for that. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna close it. And now I can close it. Uh, let's go to download here. Then, first of all, Samsung drivers. Of course, if you can't find them here on the list, you can just type Samsung drivers in and download it. Click on download and click on download. Okay, if there's an ad, close it. Download. It's gonna download pretty quickly. Now let's go back. And also, we will need to download Adin. So um, just type in Adin. And you can select the newest version, which is currently 3.14.4. Click on download, click on download. Um, it's, you can see a pretty quick process. And now uh, let's go to our file explorer. Most likely to download because that's where you have everything downloaded. Uh, I will delete some files that I don't need. Uh, so hold on a second. Okay. Mm. Yes, and now I have these three um, folders and they are uh, archives. So in order to unpack them, uh, you will need a program. For example, WinRAR. I am using WinRAR. I already have it installed. You can just go to winrar.com or not. Yeah, winrar.com and then download it for free. Uh, once it's downloaded, you will have the icons here changed to these books. Once you right click on the file, you will have a WinRAR option and you can extract it to a folder name. It's gonna take a little moment for this bigger file um, because it's extracting, right? In the process, I can already start extracting some other ones. So I'll just do, um, do it for all these files. Mm, you can see one of them is still in the process, but I don't need to care about it because first I will need to get Samsung USB driver for mobile phones. Let's go to that. Let's double click and wait a moment. Uh, it is gonna 
if it tells you that the program is already installed, click on yes anyway um, and just go through the installation. It'll update the driver if you already have it, but it's uh, been installed a while ago. Maybe something has changed, so it's worth just uh, redoing it. Okay, I have the install wizard. I can simply click on next, then select the language. I'll select uh, UK English, let's say next. And I'm gonna go through the installation, click on install, wait a moment, it's gonna take a while and it's important that after installation you restart your computer so it applies all the updates. Since I have installed the program like several minutes ago um, already, I will, I will not need to restart my computer because the drivers are already there, but uh, I would highly recommend re restarting so the process doesn't fail. So now we know everything um, here. Uh, let's wait until it finishes. And after it finishes, I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, I think the process is almost finished, yeah. I'm gonna finish it. As I said, it's worth restarting your computer now, but I don't need to do it. And now let's go to uh, Adin. Let's open it, let's go in, uh, within and now find Odin program, just run it. Now it says uh, to be sure to delete your Google or Samsung account and it is pretty important. Of course, without that you can still manage to do everything, but if you can, just go to your phone, uh, go to um, accounts and backup, manage accounts and if there are some accounts here, just click on them, remove them, because uh, if you don't, then you'll need to just sign into them during the setup after the phone um, has uh, the uh, ROM flashed, and it's, it's just making the process take longer, so I would highly recommend just removing the accounts from here, it's, it's much easier to do that. Let's click on OK. Now we can shut our phone down, uh, it's most likely power and volume down um, or just um, power button alone. I clicked on power and volume down. I have the menu. I need to. And now uh, let's click on power off twice. Let's wait a moment. Let's get our cable ready. Uh, but before that, we can already go to the program here. Click on BL here. And now um, navigate to the folder. Uh, navigate to the folder that you've um, unpacked. So this is the one you can see it's the C version, okay. Then BL, file the file that starts with BL, click on open, wait a moment. Now click on AP, load the AP file, click on open, wait a moment. For AP it's gonna take a bit longer because it's the biggest file. It typically takes uh, like those eight gigabytes of the folder is mostly taken out by the AP, so it's gonna take a moment until it verifies the MD5 and everything. Hmm. In a moment, we're gonna load CP and CSC. User data is left, uh, we just don't do anything with, with the user data. Um, and yeah, we can already enter our phone's download mode. And in order to do it, um, you will actually need to get your cable already plugged into the computer, but not to the phone. The phone has to be turned off. Um, and now start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down at the same time. And during that, plug it into the cable. Now, a blue screen will appear, like this, and this is the screen that you should see. Now, click on Volume App to continue. Now you're in the download mode. And as I said earlier, I will tell you uh, what to do if you weren't able to check the revision, like the letter of the system um, on your phone uh, in the settings. And then you can check it here. And to check it here, uh, simply find um, this gray text, uh, this RPSWREV, 
Now it says like B12, K12, S12. So we know it's 12. What 12 means is it means C because there's nine. Then there's A in the revision options, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C. So A stands for 10. B stands for 11 and C stands for 12. So I have the version 12, which is version C and I should get revision C. And I of course already have it. Now let's load the CP file as well and the CSC file. Now, once we have everything loaded, we will need to click on start. Although what I can see is in the com ports, my phone does not show up. And that is a little bit of a problem. I don't know what's the cause of it, so I will try to fix it and I'll get back to you. Okay, what I did is I replaced the cable, left the download mode by pressing and holding vo power and volume down, and then entered the download mode again by pressing and holding volume up and volume down and plugging in that different cable. And now it works, you can see I have my phone displaying here as the com part and I can click on start and if everything was done correctly it should pass it should go through all the processes but if it doesn't if it fails there are two options if it fails but um, there's no red text here then it's most likely due to your cable or your computer not being restarted after downloading the drivers so you should try again with a different cable and make sure your computer was restarted after getting the drivers. Mm. And if it shows red text here, like for example, Fusion, uh, like there's gonna be something, at the end it's gonna say Fusion 12, binary 11, or Fusion 5, binary 4, or Fusion 5, binary 2. It means you've gotten the wrong revision, uh, that like for example your phone if it says binary uh, fusion 12 binary 11 it means that you your phone is running the c revision and you have downloaded b revision and you just need to get a different one now this process will, will take quite some time so i will just get back to you when it's done okay you can see it has passed now the phone is gonna restart it is going to take a little while so uh, get ready for it I'll just get back to you when it's when it's restarted and um, I think that's almost it and the process is now finished so we can begin the setup um, you can go through it yourself of course and that is gonna be about it of course you can unplug the cable already and I hope that this video was helpful. Feel free to leave a like, a subscribe, uh, a comment. Uh, if you have any problems, also feel free to ask. Uh, and um, if you want anything more about this phone, feel free to watch other videos on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.